From farm to fork, this is the season to feast on fresh vegetables. You're putting something on a plate that somebody put blood, sweat, and tears into, and they tended it every day, and they worked with Mother Nature to get it from the seed and the pot to the ground to your table. So it's, you know, it's it's always good to have something local. Christian Breen is the owner of the Blackwater Grill in Salem. He runs a scratch kitchen and uses local produce as often as possible. We want to make sure that we always have something of quality that goes on the table and on your plate. And most of what you see here comes from this small half acre of land in Londonderry. The biggest issue we have is we can't grow enough. Christopher Horn and his wife Michaela operate Horn Family Farm. On this small plot of land during peak harvest, they grow about 700 pounds of veggies a week and they do it all by hand. This is gonna be a nice bed of basil. Some beds will be flipped two or three times with like all different crops. Um, we're also no tillage, so we don't use any machinery. It's all tilled up, tilled up by hand by using like broad forks and, and pitch forks, literally. So it's real labor intensive, but because of that, we're not like disturbing any of the biology in the soil. The idea of farming came to Christopher after his parents both suffered health scares. Right during college, my they're okay now, but my mom had a heart attack. My dad had a stroke within about a nine month period. And we started to think about like what we were consuming and what we had at the fridge. I had literally had zero experience. I had never put a plant in the ground, never had harvested anything. Um, and so I'm like 19, 20 years old at that time. After working for a nonprofit, Mill City Grows, in Lowell, where he lives, Christopher attended farm school in Athol, Mass, a year-long intensive program. After that year, I felt really positive that I, I can do this in some capacity. But I literally didn't even own a shovel. Like, I had nothing. But when the owner of this land in Londonderry offered to lease it to Christopher, the seed for the Horn family farm was planted. There are more than 60 beds. Every inch is used. And everything is done by hand from seed to harvest. Every plant on this whole farm basically has been individually seeded into a cell like this. And it's really ends up being tens of thousands of plants. And then once every cell has a seed, we cover it up, put a little soil pressure on top, um, and then we wait for the plants to grow. Michaela teaches middle school in Lowell and had never gardened until now. That was one thing when we started here and we're just tilling the land and getting it ready. And I said to Christopher, like, is there some sort of machine that we use for this? And he's like, no. Nope. The seeds are planted and placed in the greenhouse. Once they sprout, Christopher, with help from volunteers like Barry, place every plant into the ground. You know, I don't know the exact number, but it's tens of thousands of plants that I'm putting in the ground. It starts with onions, to the kale, to the beets, to the lettuce mix. It's all done by me placing it in the ground. The Horn Farm practices intercropping, which allows them to plant multiple crops in the same space. Christopher says they can harvest vegetables from April until late fall. Here you can actually see some of the intercropping. And this was a bed of peas that was intercropped with more turnips and radishes. And that all got ripped out and now we have some uh, baby sweet peppers that we grow. They grow a diverse group of veggies here. This is not your grandfather's vegetable garden. From a new variety of black radish. It's unbelievably spicy. Um, has a ton of like texture and uh, flavor to it. To a type of cabbage I've never heard of before, Caraflex. It was a fun harvest. You just pull it all down and then cut right here. And you get this awesome little tight head, this cone-shaped cabbage, and it's just ridiculously delicious. Bok choy and several different types of lettuce. I eat the entire stem and like I can, you can put shrimp in here chicken salad, anything, and then just kind of like wrap it up as a little lettuce wrap. They're absolutely delicious. Oh, thank you so oh, much. Of course. This is oh, gorgeous. The Horns run a small CSA, that's Community Supported Agriculture, allowing folks to have direct access to the produce. Karen Brenneman of London Dairy lives down the street, and thanks to the Horns Farm, her husband now eats his vegetables. He asks for salads now, 
Uh, last night we used the zucchini, the summer squash, and the onion, and the bok choy, and we did a stir fry, and he hates all of that. He had seconds. As Christopher and Michaela await the arrival of their first child, they hope as they grow their young family, they will also grow their farm. Eventually, these two city kids want to make their home on a working farm and Matt even may have a cookbook in the works. Ideally, I want to be living where we're growing and have a small farmhouse with a farm where we can raise our kids and grow like a real family business like where we're living and growing.